So uh, I'm pretty much done with the lecture. So these are the extra materials. So we are at the two hour point. I just wanted to do a few more examples for you guys, just in case uh, you needed some more solved examples. The first one is the circuit. Uh, we want to calculate the input impedance or input resistance as well as uh, the gain. Uh, looking at the circuit, I can see that the input is connected to the base. The output is connected to the collector. So this is a common emitter. Now, is it a normal common emitter or is it a common emitter with degeneration? Since I have some stuff at the emitter of Q1, and the stuff is basically what I've actually circled around it, right? Then it means that I have some sort of a resistance at the uh, the emitter, so I can actually replace the entire thing here with some resistance here, and therefore this is a common emitter with degeneration resistance at the uh, at the emitter. Okay, so we know that from last week we know that AV or the gain of this stage uh, V out over V in is going to be equal to negative GMRC, negative because it's a common emitter stage anyway, uh, plus over 1 plus GMRE. Okay, now uh, what is RE? So like RC is known, uh, GM is known, like we are going to basically figure out GM based on the biasing. So like we know that GM is going to be equal to I1, the bias of the biasing of this, uh, this Q1. Well, actually not I1 because I1 is divided by both this current and this current. So whatever is the current here, so IC1. So it's going to be IC1 over VT. So I'm assuming that some DC analysis has been done and we know the value of GM. We just want to calculate the gain, right? So GM is known, RC is known. Uh, the only thing that I don't know is RE. What is the emitter resistance? Well, looking into uh, the emitter, so basically, let me erase this stuff. Looking into the emitter of Q1, the resistance that I see here, this is, I'm going to be calling it RE, right? So this RE is going to be basically this R equivalent. Why? Because this current source is a DC current source, so it's going to be open circuit when we're talking about AC and also a small signal when we draw the small signal model. Therefore, I'm going to be just seeing the resistance looking into the emitter of Q2. Right, which is REQ. So it's going to be REQ, which is, well, I know that looking into the emitter of a transistor, I'm going to see 1 over GM2 plus whatever is in the base, which is R1, divided by beta plus beta plus 1. Right. So therefore, my gain is going to be negative GM1 RC over 1 plus GM1 times, and then instead of RE, I'm going to write 1 over GM2 plus R1 over beta plus 1. But this beta is really beta 2 in case they were different from each other. So let's actually write that. Okay, so again, we didn't draw the small signal model or the small signal circuit. You're welcome to do it and to do the uh, KCLs and KVLs and try to actually get to this expression. But at the end of the day, you should get to this expression. So this is the gain of a common emitter with degeneration. This is one of the very few equations that I want you guys to actually remember. Similar to GMRC that we have for common emitter, GMRC that we have to we have for common base, and also uh, the expression that we have for for the common collector. The gain for the common emitter with degeneration, I also want you guys to actually remember. Um, so here, the trick that we used was that instead of actually calculating that REQ using KCLs and KVLs, we used our knowledge that looking into the emitter of a transistor, I'm going to see uh, 1 over GM plus whatever is in the base, which is R1, divided by beta plus 1, right? So I used two tricks. Number one, I saw this circuit as a common emitter with degeneration, right? Number two, I knew that the resistor looking into the emitter is 1 over GM plus the base resistance divided by beta plus 1. I only use these two tricks to find the gain. That's it, right? I didn't do like this. These are the two tricks that I use to simplify the circuit in hand, which is this guy, to a circuit that I know it's gain. And then from there, everything was pretty simple.